Hi, crafty friends. So Nikki had sent me a picture of these brass bobble candlesticks and she was like, hmm, any ideas? So this is my idea. I'm taking one of the big plastic ornaments from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting off the top of the ornament because that's gonna actually be the bottom of this candlestick. And what I decided to do was just kind of go along the edge just to kind of rough it up a little bit. And then I took my clipper and just clipped off that top part and then it kind of made it a little bit jagged so what I decided to do is lay down some sandpaper you can see it's kind of rough there and then I just sanded that a little bit more smooth that way it would set nice and even now you can see there in the background um, I've got one of the Dollar Tree candlesticks that we had painted um, black and added some gold accents to it so we're going to reuse that for this project now if you didn't have one of these you could use uh, a dowel rod or something like that um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off that bottom base because we're just wanting uh, the pole part and then the topper to hold the candle. Uh, once I kind of pulled it off, I found out that there's kind of like these little edges. Um, and I tried to clip those off, but boy, they were on there really, really good. So I was like, all right, no worries. We can make that work. So I am going to go ahead and use some floral blah, 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 words floral foam and stuff this full because I want to be able to push the candlestick into it on the opposite side um, that way it holds really well I also after I spray painted it and everything I actually put a little piece of tape over the bottom of it since this will be the bottom you won't see it I pulled that off and added some beans in there just for weight um, I really didn't have anything besides beans um, because it needed to be a little bit more weighty since we're going to put the candle on the top so I'm using my glue gun, no glue, and just making the holes in some of these little table tennis balls. We're gonna use two of those. I flipped it upside down and I started spray painting it black. So once that was completely dry, I grabbed out some rub and buff um, in gold and covered the whole entire thing. Because the inspiration piece were brass, and but you could see a little bit of the black in it. So I thought, hmm, let's see how this works out. And you guys, I am in love with this. I have to go get a couple more candlesticks because I want to make different versions of them. Maybe one that has just one of the ping pong balls or table tennis balls or whatever they call it. I don't know. Lots of ideas going through my head, but um, definitely wear gloves because this was messy. <laughs> and another thing is don't worry if you don't get in all the little crevices and all the little parts because you can go back with a little paintbrush and kind of touch up in the areas um, that you need to where it's not all the way covered. Or you don't have to. You could just totally leave it as it is to have some of that black kind of coming through. So totally up to you. If you don't want to spray paint it black, you could go gold on gold, whatever you want. But look how stinking cool this turned out. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. Can't wait to do more. All right, friends, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow for more.